Hi, welcome to Detailing World. In today's video, we're going to be looking at touching up stone chips. Hi, so welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Matt. And as I say, today we're going to be looking at touching up stone chips on your car. You usually find these along the leading edge of your bonnet, maybe around the wheel arches and the front bumper. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at the wife's old car. Her mum now has this, and there's a couple of stone chips on the leading edge of the bonnet and on the inside of the door where it looks like it's possibly been caught with a ring or the car keys or something like that. It's a three year old car so it's picked up the odd stone chip over about 10 or 11,000 miles. But yeah, this is something most people should be able to do at home um, if you just take your time and go steady with this. Before we get into this video, if you could give it a quick like and if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do consider subscribing. So yeah, to touch up stone chips, there's not a lot you need. Um, first and foremost, obviously you need to make sure you've got the right color paint. So I got mine from Paints For You, but any, you know, you can go to the dealers or anything like that. There are plenty of companies out there. Um, so I've got the white paint here, it's Superior White for the Suzuki, and also some clear coat as well. And normally you'll get these as a kit, and they'll also send out some little touch-up sticks, so I may give them a try. Also, you're just going to need maybe a few cotton swabs just to clean out the stone chip areas of any grease, wax, anything in there. And finally, if you're not wanting to use the little, whatever they're called, these little swab things, if you're not wanting to use those, then a really, really fine artist brush. This is a 10 slash zero. I think that's the size. It was the smallest they had. Or even a toothpick would work fine. Before you go ahead and start filling in the stone chips, of course, you want to make sure the car's clean. So we're going to be using today, this is not a review, but we've got a review coming up. We're going to be using Garage Therapies Zero Decon Shampoo. I'm going to use this as a snow foam type product and also in the wash bucket as well. So that's the only products we're going to be using today. So yeah, give the car a quick clean. And then after that, you just need like a panel wipe um, or an IPA, something like that to remove any waxes and oils. And again, that's probably worth soaking some of these in. Just get a little bowl or something like that soak a bunch of cotton swabs in to really clean out the uh, stone chip areas. So yeah, let's move on to touch up the stone chips then. Right, so once the stone chips are ready and you've got the area prepared for paint, so that's, you know, finally doing an IPA or a panel wipe, you then want to get your paint itself and give it a good shake and make sure this is well mixed. You also then want to grab either your toothpick, if you're using a toothpick, or the little dabbers that come with it. Or in this case, I'm going to be using a fine artist paintbrush like this. And we're just going to fill the air in gently, so yeah, and normally you can get a bit of paint off the lid rather than having to dip into the bottle. So we'll have a quick look and so yeah, if you're very careful, you can kind of dip in um, and just get some from the edge of the paint like so. And then all you want to do with that is literally the key here, other than the prep, the key here is really is patience. So we're going to probably hit this with one or two goes with a colour and then two to four, like really, really thin, just dab it on, leave it, wait five, 10 minutes, come back, do another, and then we'll go into the clear. So probably one or two hits of color, and then two or three of clear, but like I say, I don't want to go proud of the existing paintwork. So yeah, it's quite simple to be fair. And as I say, if, it's, if you're wanting perfection here or a more advanced repair, then really what you're looking at doing is you need to go down the route of wet sanding, prior because what happens when there's a stone chip it may raise some of the paint say behind the stone chip so you want to level that down with a bit of wet sanding um, and obviously fill it in with the, stone, with, the, with the paint then you would leave it 48 hours per I normally leave it a week so obviously do the stone chips one weekend leave it a week and then the following weekend it's had more than enough time to set come back sand it down and uh, machine polish it but as I said we're not going to be doing that in today's video that will be a future video also what I'd say is if you can get the car indoors then that'd be amazing that's best case scenario if not then this is more of a summer day job um, so yeah you'll probably pick up a, you know maybe a spring spring cleaning routine you'll pick up a lot of stone chips um, during the winter months when there's all the grit on the road or even if you know come say end of the financial year when the council seems to spend money on regretting the roads that's when you're going to get ploughed with it so yeah, this is more of a, as I say, probably a spring, summer job where the weather's getting a bit warmer and you can do this outside. So yeah, as you can just see there, that's the lightest of coats. Um, and then all you need to do then, so yeah, we'll go around, we'll do all of these for the first coat. 
and they say you just need patience so give it five or ten minutes and in between coats you know just make yourself a brew sandwich whatever give your dog a bit of fuss just yeah you'll pass the time for ten minutes so we'll come back when we're out of the clear coat Right, so whilst we wait for the paint to dry on this, then I'd just like to say a quick thank you to everyone that has subscribed to this channel so far. At the time of recording this video, we're on about five and a half thousand subscribers and that does mean a lot to us and we really do appreciate every single person that subscribes to this channel. Now, as you may have seen on Instagram and some YouTube posts, I did say as soon as I hit five thousand subs, I'll be doing a giveaway. That is still the plan. It's not happening in this video. Um, but check either the next one or the one after. It's in one of the upcoming videos. We will be doing a giveaway because we've hit the 5,000. So if you're not subscribed already, please do consider subscribing. It really does help us out. We really appreciate it and it doesn't cost you anything at all. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you very much for being part of this community, really. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, we're aiming we're aim to do more and more giveaways as we hit each milestone on YouTube. So, yeah. Much appreciated, thank you very much, and let's dive right back into this. Right, so once you've applied the first coat of paint, what you need to do then is wait five or 10 minutes, and that gives the paintwork time to basically gas off and also dry a little as well. So this thinners in the paint and they'll evaporate, and that causes the paint to sink back. So as you can see here, the paint has sunk quite well into this chip. At that, I am gonna leave that, so I know I said I'd do two coats, and this is where you need to assess each chip individually. So that looks well sunk in there. What we'll do now is we'll build up layers and layers of clear coat um, until we're pretty level with the existing paintwork. As I said, in this, we don't really want to be um, doing any polishing simply because this is right on the leading edge of the bonnet. Right, so what we want to do now then once the paint has dried is you want to be applying your clear coat. Now this, as you can probably tell, is a lot more runny than um, the, the color paint basically so this is going to need a few coats and again just take your time five ten minutes between each coat dab a tiny bit on work your way around and if you've got you know if you've got that many stone chips by the time you've got to the end that may have taken you 10 15 minutes anyway so get back to you know the beginning and continue doing this so yeah it's just a, a patience game this really Okay then, so there we have it. Fairly straightforward. As I say, the key part here is the prep work. So that's obviously giving the car a thorough wash down and then tar removal, iron removal and panel wipe or an IPA wipe just to make sure the area is entirely clean. And then from there, it's just a case of being patient and using a fine tool to basically fill in the stone chips. So that can be, as I say, a toothpick, a really fine artist brush, or if the you know, if the paint kit you use comes with these little things, give those a try. I've tried them, they're not bad. Um, some kits come with the brushes, just there's no point using them, they're far too wide, really. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. What you could do if you wish is wait 48 hours and then just slightly rub it down with a bit of hand polish um, a mild abrasive on a mag fiber cloth. Um, it's not something I'm going to have a chance to do today. I, this car comes up a couple of times a week, usually when I'm at work. Um, it's not often I get to see it at the weekends, to be fair. Um, but yeah, you can just go down the edges with a hand polish uh, to try and just improve the appearance a little more. As I said, in the future, we will look at doing a more advanced stone chip repair video, but that will involve wet sanding, possibly de-nibbing tools, uh, and definitely some machine work as well. So that's something really you need to be quite handy with a machine polisher, be it a rotary or a DA, um, because obviously you're gonna be putting sanding marks in the paintwork. But anyway, that's it for this video. The idea here is to just improve the appearance so they don't stand out as much. As always, if you've been As always, if you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, please do consider subscribing. Also, check us out on Instagram as well. We're on there as Detailing World Official. I'm on there as Randomly Set if you want to see the behind the scenes and whatnot. And check out our merch store if you want any t-shirts or anything like this. So yeah, with all that out of the way, we'll see you in the next video.